Just be careful in Redford. Police are warning people to lock their windows and doors after a frightening home invasion and assault. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig is in Redford with details on what happened and who they're looking for. It's unclear what this man was up to, but it's possible he was looking to sexually assault these women. She mentioned something about a gun, and I think that's what scared him away. A woman in her 60s was the target here on Lexington near Five Mile in Redford. It was just before 5 o'clock this morning when she heard noises outside her home. She didn't see anything, but she was near an open window when she got the scare of her life. She heard a man say, I've been watching you. He made a vulgar sexual remark and then... His hand came in and grabbed her by the arm. The stranger reaching through that window, grabbing her. She then told him... I'll blow your head off if you come any closer, any, any further. And he took off. He, he was gone. But about an hour and a half earlier and two miles away here on San Jose near Schoolcraft, Redford police think it may have been the same man who actually got into a family's home through an unlocked door and walked up to a woman who was sleeping on the couch. She woke up and he made what police describe as sexual advances. We're told he even touched her but took off when he realized there was someone else in the house. I was like, wow. Redford police alerting residents on their Facebook page about the two incidents and the man who was only described as a black man about five feet seven inches tall weighing about 150 to 180 pounds. Witnesses say he was wearing a striped polo style shirt and mesh shorts. Police now reminding residents to lock their doors and windows. They got to catch him. It's scary. I always tell my wife you got to make sure the doors locked before we go to bed because there's a couple times where you know I got up and said double check the lever just going to bed double check it and forgot to lock it. So you know I, I always do that. I'm just uh, got to check the doors got to check the doors. So if you have any information on these crimes or a possible suspect, please call Redford Police. In Redford, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News.